Meet Horton Man. He's not quite the Terminator, but his movements are eerily lifelike. His job is to test the effectiveness of clothing designed to protect military personnel during a chemical or biological attack. We place a number of sensors across the mannequin body. These contain an absorbent. The mannequin's then dressed with a suit system to test. The absorbents will trap any agent which penetrates the suit system. At the end of the test, we can then compare that against the challenge concentration to obtain protection factors for that particular suit system. As well as those movable sensors, there are also 270 fixed sensors across Port and Man's body. That's more than twice as many as on his predecessor. The original Port and Man had been in service since the late 90s. His drawbacks were a lack of range of movement. What you see here is it. The latest model can walk, run, sit, kneel. All movements designed to simulate the stresses a soldier puts on protective clothing in the field. As great as Porton Man is, he does have some disadvantages. He doesn't have any torso movement and he doesn't sweat or get hot like mannequins used in some other countries. But those were conscious decisions made in the design process. In the design and development of a mannequin, it's about a trade-off of different features. We've opted for more head movement in the system which has meant that we cannot rotate the torso. However, head movement left to right will also stress the fabric in a similar fashion, but having more head movement as well, we believe will offer a greater advantage, so we can now move the head up and down, left, right and rotation. Horton Man took 16 months to develop. He's been designed with a bit of high-speed help to the size of the average soldier, but there were some small hold-ups on the way. Because it's all Formula One technology, and we use local companies who work with the Formula One industry, five-axis machining of patterns and body forms and then the carbon composites that were produced, they, we missed the timing and they all got started to prepare for the new F1 season and um, we had to fight to get our, get our mannequin made in between the F1 cars. Horton Man cost £670,000, far less than the American's Pet Man, which cost around £15 million. While Porton Man isn't nearly as advanced, he is perfectly capable of carrying out the required job. We're looking now just starting development for the next generation suit. When that will come in, uh, I can't really say it at the minute, but we're looking at five years plus, potentially. So a lot of the work going on behind the scenes, we won't see the benefit, but we will see a real benefit when it does come out. Looking at this disturbingly lifelike droid, it doesn't take much to imagine where this kind of technology, coupled with unlimited funds, could go in the future. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Wiltshire.